This is a coordinate plane, two axes and four quadrants. How do we find the distance between any two points? Say we have two points A and B. How do we find this distance? It's pretty simple. Let's calculate the distance on the right hand side of the whiteboard. We need to find AB, the length of segment AB. If you look at the figure, it lies entirely on the x-axis. In that case, it's super easy to find the distance between two points. It will be the absolute value of x2 minus x1. x2 and x1 are simply the x-coordinates of the two points. The x-coordinate of b is 4 and that of a is 1. So the distance between a and b will be the absolute value of 4 minus 1. It will be 3 units. Now look at line segment CD which is parallel to x-axis. What will CD be equal to? Guess what? It is still the absolute value of x2 minus x1. The x coordinates are 1 and minus 3. So the distance will be absolute value of 1 minus minus 3. That will equal 4 units. Don't get confused seeing the absolute value sign. You would probably have guessed why we have it. In the case of AB, even if we subtract 4 from 1, we still get 3 units. The distance is always positive. What's the length of line segment EF? When we say length of EF, we mean the distance between E and F. What will EF be equal to? It lies entirely on the y-axis. The distance between any two points on the y-axis is the absolute value of the difference in the y-coordinates. The y-coordinates of E and F are 2 and 0. EF will be the absolute value of 2 minus 0, 2 units. And it will be the same for any segment parallel to the y-axis. Take line segment GH for example, which is parallel to the y-axis. What is the distance between G and H? The y-coordinates of G and H are 2 and minus 3. So GH will equal absolute value of 2 minus minus 3, which is 5 units. Finding the distance between two points which lie on the axis or form a line parallel to an axis is pretty easy. But what if we have to find the distance between two points which do not form a line parallel to an axis. What if we are asked to find the length of line segment GD here? This segment is not parallel to any of the axes. How do we find its length? Let's erase this and look at an example to understand this. We have been given the coordinates of G and D and asked to find the distance between them. From the two points, draw perpendiculars to the x-axis and to the y-axis. It's obvious that the angle formed here will be a right angle. We call it point A. Now look at triangle GDA and you can probably guess how we can find length GD. Yes, triangle GDA is a right triangle. So if we find out GA and AD, then we can easily find GD using the Pythagoras theorem. We can easily find GA and AD as they are parallel to the axis. Based on the Pythagoras theorem, GD squared will equal GA squared plus AD squared. Now to find GA and AD, we need to find the coordinates of A. That's easy. X coordinate of A is 3 and the Y coordinate is minus 2. Using the concepts we learnt earlier, we get GA and AD as 4 and 2. GA is the absolute value of the difference in the y coordinates of G and A and AD is the absolute value of the difference in the x coordinates of A and D. Solving this, we get GD squared as 20. Taking the square root on both sides, GD will be 2 root 5 units. This is interesting. Try and understand what we did. GD 
is the root of 4 squared plus 2 squared. But what is 4 squared and 2 squared? 4 is actually the difference between the y coordinates of g and d and 2 is the difference between the x coordinates of g and d. So can we derive a formula to find the distance between two points? Let's say g is x comma y and d is x1 comma y1. We can say that the distance between two points with these coordinates will be the square root of x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared. This is the distance formula. To find the distance between any two points, all we need is the coordinates of those two points.